Hello, we are here today to review Amul. This is a game from Stronghold Games. That sounds like one of those inserts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, hi, hello, yeah. my name is George. <laughs> Stronghold Game. <laughs> All right, so we are here to talk about Amul. It's a card drafting game. Uh, all you get in the box is cards, so it's, it's a, purely cards and a score pack. A score pack. Um, no but, pen to write it with. You have to provide your own pen. What were they thinking? I don't know. All right, but anyway, please follow along with us as we journey through our collection of 3,000 plus games between us uh, mm -hmm. by hitting the subscribe button. That's right. Properly stated it even that time. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, hit the uh, notification bell so you can be aware of any new videos we put out. Which and is... leave us some comments. Yeah. We like responding to Yeah, we'd we'll love to hear think. from you. Yep. All right, so as far as this game goes, the quality of components, all you basically get, you get this cardboard, basically, divider. If yeah, you know, it just it organizes where you put card back. Yeah, so and I'm not sure exactly why, but it's two-sided, with one being a shadow side and one being a daylight side. It didn't really have any function in the game. Yeah, and neither did that card that had the two sides. Yeah, the I mean, there may be some expansion, because there's a variant side. We didn't get into the variants. Um, and then, other than that, you just get... a three decks of cards really mm -hmm. and two only really one big one the rest of them is so that you get the the market cards the bizarre the big cards, chunk of cards and the palace cards and the market cards are what you're going to be focused on most of the game now all of the cards have a nice texture to them mm -hmm. these are all really good quality cards so they did a nice job with the cards which you would hope so that's the only yeah that's really the, the only component and then the other thing is just the score pad and the score pad's very thin. It doesn't give you a lot of sheets. They are two sided though, so at least it doubles. Yeah, it'll last a little long. Yeah, so it's not, there's not a lot of them, but you know, you'll have to photocopy them when they run out. Um, they, the, then they have uh, basically cards that tell you Full cheat sheets. sheets, and they have a first player token, they have a, a, a first starting player token, and then the, the match first is for the round, and then the first pick, which is the one that passes around for first player. And then a, and a functional insert. Yeah, um, yeah, they got dividers in the, the right. storage, which is nice. Um, so as far as quality, I mean, given that there's not a lot to this game, uh, it's really, I think, above average. I mean, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's for the amount of cards that you get, and they're in decent shape, mm -hmm. that, even though it's just cards. Yeah. They're good shape cards. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot to it, but you can't really fault it much. Can't really because, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a nine based on what's in there. I mean, there's just not a lot to it. But right. But a, but it's good cardboard. Yeah, there's nothing so. wrong with what's in it. I mean, I, I, I think, if anything, maybe the cardboard is not that great of a thickness, but it's... But you really don't need to. I but, mean, it's th yeah. thicker than like, but what it, you but, get for uh, Terraforming functional. Mars or uh, Great Western Trail. True. I mean, uh, but yeah, I mean, there's just not much to the game. So, but... It's, I, I can't fault anything we got with it. I mean, everything's decent. Yeah, I mean, nine just seems a little high for just all you got. Oh, cards. I mean, what are you going to count off for? Uh, lack of other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the fact uh, that it is a different game. Yeah, I mean, uh, no, I guess a nine's all right because it is good card stock. Yeah, right? it, it is good quality. You, I don't think you really even need to sleeve it unless you play it a no. lot. And let's talk about theme then. Now uh, there really isn't much theme. There on this. really isn't. It, no. it, it's really pasted on. It is completely pasted on. It's just set in. You know, uh, I'm assuming a mule is a name of a city because it's capitalized here. <laughs> it says we're merchants competing for wealth and prestige. Each round, players simultaneously choose one card in their hand and place it in the market. So there's like one sentence, and then it jumps right, right into gameplay into the in the introduction. So there's no backstory. There's, there's no theme. Uh, it's, you know, uh, I'm going to go with a Middle Eastern theme. Uh, I'm no expert on geography, and I'm sure Annie will point it out and laugh at us. But... <laughs> right. So. Not that it's real hard to make fun of us yeah. or stuff. But... So, so, but yeah, theme is very, 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 very light. It's very unimportant. Yeah, but... it, yeah, and it doesn't matter to playing the game at all. So, yeah. I'd say maybe a four. I mean, Catan has more theme than this. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't see any reason as a, to negatively call it though. I'm, I'm probably give it a five just because it just there's no purpose for it. I mean, it has I mean it's almost an A, but it's not 
given the fact that this is not like an abstract. I right. Mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing that it's got a low theme score. It just doesn't have a theme. So I can't give it a higher score than Catan. Yeah. So I'm going to go with a five. All right. I'm going to go for it because right. that's why I roll. All right. Just because you went far that way. That's right. All right. So then we'll talk about the rule book. There's actually two books in the box. Uh, that's and, and One is the actual rules, which is only seven pages with a card distribution mm -hmm. on the back which is the card distribution is really nice because it actually breaks it into a number of players and shows you how many are in each account yeah, yeah other than the writing on the card itself which made it was very tiny it was mm -hmm. easy to set the game up yeah so I, I i i really like the rules it's very easy to understand they've got a section nicely mm -hmm. um it was not hard read at all um i i'm you know with the rules and then also the cheat sheet on top of that, right. which the cheat sheet basically is all you'll need during the game because it tells you everything you do during the game. It doesn't and, give you a detail, but it tells you what steps. And you realistically, do. I never needed to look up anything in the yeah, card the reference. cards were pretty you self explanatory. Did, you did one time, but I, I don't even really I just know. looked at the symbology to okay, see if there was anything. Yeah, it's very, very yeah, there's, straightforward. There's a lot of iconography, but it's very simplistic. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's like, okay, I looked in here just to confirm my suspicion right. of what the iconography means. You meant. might have an icon, and then you might have a card that references that icon, and it tells yeah. you how many points you get for that icon. That's really about it. So given the fact that they went as above and beyond with what they gave you, because mm -hmm. they really they went beyond what I would expect for the quick game like this, I'm gonna give it a ten. I really can't think of a uh, yeah, reason exactly. not to on the rules. I mean, there that's it's a, just a very simplistic game, and, and there it, was no confusion, no confusion so. whatsoever. And the, if there were any confusion, this book would answer it if right. not any cards. So, I, I could agree with that. Uh, so that's now on to gameplay. Yeah. Okay. Through, we're just boom, boom, boom through this. I know. One. I know. It's All a, right. Uh, it's game. So gameplay is super simplistic. As a matter of fact, we can probably teach you the entire game here really right. quick. So basically, you have a deck of, as we mentioned, market cards. Very, it's a good thick size, and size, that deck size, size will vary based upon number of players. Right. And this plays from anywhere from three to eight players. So it's actually a really good game for if you got a big group. That's nice. Uh, so it, you know, it's you just take the deck of cards, shuffle it, give everybody five cards off the top, and put three face up into the market to start the game. Uh, so that's the market deck. Then you have the there's two decks, one for the palace and one for the bazaar. Now the palace cards are uh, basically a lot of them are replicas of cards that you would get in the standard market deck. The only difference is that they get to stay in play. Yeah, the only difference to, is they, they, they get played to the table immediately and the, you cannot get them other than by playing Through a card the from the market. Right. And the, the palace card, or I'm sorry, the bazaar. bazaar cards are orders. They're that you have to get, for, well, you don't have to get them, but if you get one, you want to get, collect the items right. on it, and then you'll get you additional bonus points, points for collecting those items. And this is on top of the card points. Right, and then again, same as with the palace, the only way to get a bizarre card is through a market card. Right, so like this one says, like six, uh, or six points when you have a spice, a camel, and a silver. So you'll get the points for the spice, the camel, and the silver, but you also would get the six points if right. you collected those three items. Now, if you get two of the two cards that reference an item, you have to have a second copy of the item. You can't double count them for additional orders. Um, so you're going to have a tableau of those out available face up. And those so, don't ever change. Every game you yeah. play, those are always going well, to be Well, insane. they change based on number of players. They get more. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they will increase or decrease. I didn't think we took out any of those. We I did. thought we only no, took I out No, I did. Things. I pulled okay. them out. Got it. So... Um, there's there's going to be a tableau of those depending on number of players how many there'll be uh so if, whenever you start the game out you're gonna first thing you're gonna do with your can of five cards you're gonna get a sixth card dealt to you at the beginning of that whoever's the first player deals out six cards to everybody then uh everybody chooses one of their cards that they're going to play face down into the market so they're getting rid of one of their cards at all times you're going to end up with five cards mm -hmm. in your hand uh, the cards in the, the market then are flipped face up once everybody's played. And then the first player will then choose the first card from the market. Right. And then They'll they put, will it, in put it in their hand and everybody chooses one. So you end up back with six cards again. But you're going to end up playing one card to the table face down again. And then those cards will either have a table icon or they'll have a hand icon. If it's a table icon, then when you flip it up, it will stay on the table and be a, a permanent point count for you at, towards the end of the game. 
if it has a hand icon, you lose the card and it goes away. So you want to make sure early in the game to have a good distribution of ta table cards in your hand. Uh, the hand cards ultimately are going to be in game scoring from your hand, right. so, or or to help get you points with the table cards that you have yes. already in play. So you've got to keep a balance throughout the game, and this game is really fast. It, it's only nine yeah. rounds, and the game's over, uh, depending on player count. The rounds count is, I believe, depend on. No, I think it is nine across the. Board. It's always nine because the board, I think, maybe oh, okay. it, unless the other side and, and maybe that's part of the variant. No, it's nope, the same number. Same. All right, so there's nine rounds in it, and each round you're going to do the same routine. Mm -hmm. So it goes really fast. You could probably play this. It says 45 minutes. I think we took longer, but we had... It was a learning game. Learning game, and we had some slower players. But in general, I think this could probably be played in 15, 20 minutes. I mean, it's... Yeah, I mean, if you get a Pretty group quick. Really if you know the iconography doing. and you know what you're doing, mm -hmm. this is just draw a card, play a card. It's super easy. Um, but the, the strategy is you've got to collect sets of different icons and uh, different, um, different groupings of, of commodities, if you will, for the different uh, orders. So you can score points lots of different ways and you, cannot, you can only do so much. So you have to decide what you're going to go for and kind of discard the cards you're not. Uh, being aware that your opponents are going to probably pick them up and take them. Right. So, uh, you know, there's not a really a, a lot of screw your neighbor in this. The only there, there's a little there's bit. A little bit there, there's a little bit as far as if you're if you're playing uh, hate drafted. So yeah. if you hate draft against your opponents, then you could certainly affect what that because maybe you're going to pick that card that you know that they want that's going to score them a bunch of points. Yeah. So there's a little bit of that element, but more than anything, it's just more luck. And then uh, and I think that. An element of strategy that I really didn't do, but I think I thought of it towards the end of the game, is I might have a really nice card that I don't need, but I think that maybe Randy wants it, so I want to play that, hoping he'll pick that up instead of the card that I really want. Yeah, I thought and about so doing I, that so, a few times. So, I th so there might be a little bit of strategy in that regard, but otherwise you're just hoping that people either discard the cards you're really looking for or you're going to draw yeah. the cards that you're really looking for. Now, one one thing we didn't mention is there's a suit of cards that are red yeah. that have the military. military swords on them. And those are important early in the game to gather during because the first pass around the table, everybody plays in turn order based around the table sequence. But once it gets around to the starting player again, whoever the first player was, from that point forward, whoever, the first player will become whoever has the most of those sword icons. Right. And if there's a tie, then they have lettering on the sword icons for priority from A to, I don't know. I think it was H, H. was, was okay. the last one. So you'll, At least with the cards that we saw. So based if there's a tie, then whoever's got the lowest close to the beginning of the alphabet is going to get to go first. So in the case we had, we had five players. Three of you had military. You had two icons where everybody else had one. I had three eventually. eventually yeah, I, I, always, I always had more, so I was always the first pick. Yeah, and then between Ivy and me, we we had no yeah. icons, so we still followed turn order around the table, whereas everybody else was taking all the good stuff before us. So there's a, a value to having those early in the game. Later in the game, it's not important once right. the order is established, unless you just want to joss, jockey for first position in that order. But um, they do all cards score in some way at the end of the game, pretty much. Some well, of them there, have, there are some zeros. Well, but the zeros gave you a bonus card. All the right. zeros gave you the, the cards from the palace or the bazaar. So while they individually didn't score points, they triggered other points. Right. And they might have had icons on them. It also that you could points. trigger points with. Yeah. yeah, and then there's two suits at the end of the game that uh, have uh, basically whoever has the most of those icons. So you got a moon and a flame. Yeah. So whoever has the most of those icons at the end of the game and second and third position are paid right. out as well, get points. So that's really all there is to the game. It's yeah, just it's, play the nine rounds of playing the cards and then try to accumulate your points based upon what you're collecting. And I think strategy-wise, you're probably looking at turn two, turn three, where you're trying to figure out these are the cards that I want. Yeah. And so you, the first couple turns, you're developing that, figuring out what, how you want to play the game. Yeah, so I mean... I, it's really simplistic game. It's not. It's. I would call this probably an introductory game. I think it's, so. It, it looks a little complex. But yeah, but once you get into it, it's really it's there's nothing so to it. easy. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing to the game really. 
Uh, if not anything, that's my biggest complaint about the game is it just didn't feel like there was much to it. Right. Uh, so as far as overall score for this, uh, what are you thinking? Um, I, I enjoyed it. I didn't love it. Mm-hmm. It's okay. So I think that just initial playthrough, I'd give it maybe a seven. Okay. I'm probably just a little bit below you. I'm thinking it's probably more like a 6.5 for me. I, I probably would have gone even lower if it weren't for the player count. Because yeah. having the flexibility to go up to eight players. Yeah, we don't have that many yeah, decent eight player games. That makes That's a huge bonus for this game. And it is something easy to get to the table. Yeah. And if you've got people that are not really heavy Gamers, into gaming... Yeah, uh, it'd, be, it'd be easy for them to pick it up. Yeah, so it, I think it is something that, because of that flexibility, I, even though I don't There's tend to value lean towards that, that uh, I definitely would want to have it in my collection for that purpose. Mm. Uh, but it's probably not one I'm going to pull out a lot. Right. Um, so yeah, I think a 6.5 is about where I'm at. And I know I talked with Miranda before, and she couldn't be in the video, but she said... She was probably at a six on it, so mm-hmm. I think you know, we're, we're all pretty much in the line. Yeah. So um, that is a mm-hmm. Uh Stat wise, so on um, Board Game Geek, uh, their rating was seven zero. Came out in twenty nineteen. The designer is, uh, and I apologize if I mispronounce these. Uh, Remo Conzadon, St- Stefano Negro is the designers. The artist is Eileen Cherie and uh, Jer uh, Casanon or Casanin. Published by Stronghold Games. MSRP is 40 bucks. Oh, so not, wow. It's a little pricey for yeah. what you get. Uh, but again, that's straight up MSRP. There's mm-hmm. uh, so Go to certain websites that you might be able to buy uh, board games from. It's probably cheaper. Yeah. All right. Well, again, hit the subscribe button. Join yep. along for our journey. You know, we've got many, many years ahead of us. So yeah, we'd we like to have you. So. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you next time. Have a good night. All right. Bye. Bye. Good enough, we're and we're smart, smart enough. enough, and, and gosh darn it, it, people like us. People like us, and that's okay. Well, not you so much, but well, yeah, maybe a little less. The me but, part, the me e- part of us. But either way, that's okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Hello, we are here today to review a mule by Stronghold Games. Thank you, because I'm not allowed to say that. That's right. We it's just what, learned it's, that it's, today. It's one of my stats, and I, that, that's my job. Okay. So, uh, this game is a card draft. I know, I'm going to get to okay. it. Okay. The card drafting, and that's basically, it's a very simplistic game. All it's got is cards. Yep. Uh, please follow along with this. We hit the draft. Uh, the draft. <laughs> <laughs> We're never going to get through this the game. This is the cursed hit, game. Hit the draft button, please. <laughs> yes, we want you to be drafted. <laughs> we, we want to draft you into our videos. <laughs> Have you ever considered a career in the military? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the blooper reel is actually going to be longer than yeah, the video. Probably. All right. Let's try this again. All right. Hello. Today we are here for the 15th time. <laughs> <laughs>